participate in this Inspire Academy course. This level two is an introductory course where we focus on public speaking. They have been introduced to the basics of verbal and nonverbal techniques, but this is just the beginning and these kids will have a lot more experiences where they can showcase their skills and will even go on to much higher level courses. Before you know it, your kids will be brand ambassadors and even speaking in front of senators. Today, though, they will be presenting research-based expository speeches. I find it unfathomable that people are degraded by their gender. Women especially often get the short end of the stick when it comes to this. Many notable people have fought for a plethora of rights regarding females. The first milestone, as one may call it, started with none other than Abigail Adams in March of 1776. In a letter written to her husband, she wrote one of her most famous quotes, Remember the Lady. Many historians have thought she was referring to women's right to vote, that she was referring to equality in marriage. At the time, women were treated as property, with their husbands virtually doing anything they wanted with them whether it be treating them as a slave. Everyone knows what the American Revolution and Civil War were, but have you ever heard about Bacon's Rebellion? Bacon's Rebellion was an uprising in 1676 by angry colonists against American Indians and the colonial government that took place in Jamestown, Virginia. It was led by Nathaniel Bacon, which gave the name Bacon's Rebellion. Most importantly, it was the first rebellion in the American colonies. People began arriving in America from England. They either came hoping for a new life or were simply kicked out of their country. When they arrived, many were turned into indentured servants, which meant they did hard labor for a period of time before they were granted freedom. As you can see here, is the contract they had to sign in which they agreed to serve as a servant. Some were indentured for seven years, while others were indentured for longer times. However, they were treated very poorly. As I said, the Civil Rights Movement was not was a famous part of African American history, but not just African American history. It's a famous part of American history. Due to all of, due to all of this, there's still, as I said, there's a spark of fire that lies around every person in the world. This, and even though Martin Luther King has died or any other civil rights leader, they, their deaths are something to be sad about. There's something to motivate them and push them so that they can achieve what their true goal was, and that was world peace, where the world can live in harmony together with no fighting, no race, no desegregation, none, none of that, no separate but equal, but we're a world where we can live together, not judge on the color, looks, or race, but on how our personality is and how our heart is. So after a constant fighting for days, a practical miracle happened for the Japanese. And this miracle was a typhoon. And yes, a typhoon. That hasn't happened, that happened in the first one. So you think it would happening twice would be almost impossible, but it did happen. And it destroyed the majority of the Mongolian fleet. And the reason why the fleets were so close together was because previously in Hakata Bay, Japanese smaller ships, smaller Japanese ships were raiding bigger Mongolian ships, which caused them to either sink or get resources from, which hindered Mongolian progress, which is another reason on top of the wall why they lost that battle. So, they had these ships very close together, which was perfect from defending against Japanese raid ships, but was terrible in the conditions of a typhoon, because the majority of the Mongolian ships and lines got easiest, easy, easily wrecked. And then this caused over half to two thirds. Of but when the two emperors retired 20 years after, a new emperor named Constantine took over. However, he was more interested in the Eastern side and he moved to the Eastern Roman Empire's capital, Constantinople. 
as a result, the Eastern Roman Empire was a lot more wealthier with more food and more people, while the Western side just began to get weaker and weaker. The Western Roman Empire was dealing with some economic problems. And there was a financial crisis from the emperor spending too much money on wars and parties. And as a result, the emperor rose the taxes, which made many of the citizens very unhappy. Describe the World War II as one of the most dangerous, deadliest, and most sad. So the sad part was that world. So World War II had like 70 million to 85 million deaths that day, and it was most mostly shocking and sad event that happened that day. Now, additional event was when nine black students were able to go to a recently integrated school, but were harassed and were then being brought in by the military. I mean, think about it. They were such a small group of people that had to go against such a large group of people. Now, another example of people trying to stand up for their rights was when four black college students wanted to be served food at a diner like everyone else, and they waited patiently until they were. This movement happened in multiple diners. A lot of black individuals or a lot of black groups came in and into diners and they wanted to be served like everyone else. And a lot of the times they were harassed and food was really thrown at them. And sometimes there were police there too, who would try to harass them and try to show that they couldn't stand up for themselves and that whatever they did, they didn't have. A lot of your other inventions were made during the Renaissance, like, um, a telescope and a microscope and even woodblock printing. A telescope helps people learn more about astronomy and microscopes help people learn more about biology. To wrap things up, the Renaissance um, spread west and north to all different areas of Western Europe Leonardo da Vinci learned more about the heart and a lot of inventions were made during this time. The Renaissance was a very creative people, uh, I mean, a very creative time. And it was a different way of thinking. After what happened to the other three buildings. So they knew that their lives were already at risk. So they called all their loved ones, loved ones and told them they probably wouldn't make it and said all the revives. And then they attacked the hijackers and tried steering the plane to somewhere where it would hurt others. And this is, you know, no more people after that were hurt. Many people like firefighters, police, military, they all tried helping in New York and the Pentagon because of oh, yes. 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 Yes.